Ciao! Ciao! Hi, I'm Andrea Piccioni. We are in Montelparo in Italy for uh, the 2011 edition of Frame Drums Italia Festival. Uh, we are very happy and honored to, to this beautiful journey with some incredible teachers like Anne Scott Robinson and from UCLA. Andrea Piccioni. <laughs> Thank you. And we will demonstrate and show uh, in these features some small uh, traditional rhythms with traditional drums uh, uh, from Italy, from typical... Hi, this is Andrea Piccioni and I will start these features introducing you the Sicilian traditional tamburello uh, technique. The Sicilian technique is one of the most beautiful and also complex technique we have in Italy. You have to think about Sicily like a beautiful highland in the, exactly in the center of Mediterranean Sea. So during the centuries many different cultures coming in this land and each of these cultures give his contribute to architecture, to food and of course to music. For example, Arabs, just to say one, will be in Sicily for more than four, four centuries. And the technique is, is really a mix uh, from many different things. Many of you could, could find, for example, different kind of Arabs a traditional uh, way to play tambourines inside this style. So basically we have the first stroke, the doom stroke, the bass sounds, is made is a, in a very unique way. They use traditionally this finger, the index finger, this side of the index finger, with a very flat movement. And this is the only, uh, on, on, the only way in French drums where they play in the center of the drum, and you have this very powerful drum sound. So basically, the movement is completely flat. With this turning movement, you have this bam sound exactly in the center of the drum. The most important thing in Sicilian tamburello is the handle of the instrument. The idea is to have the, the hand divided in two sections. The drum is put at in this point. The thumb don't make any pressure to the drums. This is very important. And to turn the instrument, you use only this kind of fingers movement without move this. Just this. In this way you have total control of the instrument and personally in my research I have also find this kind of movement in different kind of uh, rig uh, techniques. So basically you have the doom sound, the jingle stroke and the tuck sound. The tuck sound is made again with the index fingers with this flat movement. And just Stroke the rim. There is many different combinations in Sicilian technique. You use different kind of triplets technique, uh, who exist also in different parts of Italy, like the pizzica style. The pizzica technique also exists in Sicily. And also the technique we call saltarello technique. Also, this is used in Sicily. All these things are mixed with shaking movements and different, uh, different sound of the skin. I will demonstrate uh, one traditional rhythm played uh, in general from the makers, from the drum makers. This is a little bit uh, uh, acrobatic way to play the tamburello and this is a, a traditional piece created uh, by these makers to demonstrate the great sound and the great quality of this uh, of his instrument in the past. 
I have uh, learned this traditional piece from uh, one of the last and great uh, traditional tamburello players from Sicily. His name is Fabio Tricomi and I send to him all my best greetings. So this is Alla Tamuridara. Can I ask a question about uh, the change from the pizzica technique to the saltarella? How do you make that change when you're playing? Yeah, basically the idea is work a lot to have the fingertips very flexible in the position. So basically you have this kind of triplet movement like this and from this if you work with the hand in this position, not in this, but in this position. When you make this stroke, the third stroke of this triplet, you are all time in touch with the fingertips. So with this technique, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So the third stroke for both techniques is actually the same. So you're in a position to change at that moment where exactly. most people might feel they want to change on the downbeat, but it's actually on the last part. Yeah, that's great. The particular quality of Sicilian, uh, Sicilian tempos is starting all times in upbeat. It's, it's very ambiguous. You have the doom on the beat, but the, 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 mood, the, the basic rhythm starts in upbeat, and you have this kind of quadruplet in the beginning. Ta ta ke ta dum, ta ta ke ta dum. One other question about the turning of the drum and striking uh, in the back of the skin. Yeah. Are these, these are traditional? Totally. Could you show totally us uh, what actually happens in yes, the back the of the drum? Yes, the idea is this movement is very important in this, uh, in this kind of technique. Uh, I, I would suggest to work a lot to improve this because this is the real secret for this technique but in general for me for tamburello. So the idea is have this kind of movement and you combine in triplet with skin stroke. Sounds on the skin have a different sound. If you hear. 